test flight in the wet woods outside Seattle. Brand new to the market, they call this one the Responder. Nearby Redmond PD, among the first to deploy such drones on actual 911 calls. We can get from here to the other side of the city in just under two minutes. This is definitely the future of law enforcement. Suspicious person call, this drone gets there, person isn't suspicious or isn't there. You just don't have to send officers anymore. 911 call comes in for a drug overdose. Drone autonomously launches. Then when it arrives, it has a dropper. It would deliver Narcan. Brink Drones HQ in Seattle, a test flight for a specialized indoor version, Lemur 2. Designed to get eyes and ears in dangerous places. So the drone can actually fly up to a window, shatter it out, make a hole for itself to enter a building. As a drone is flying around, it's actually drawing a floor plan of the structure that first responders might have to enter. The camera and the thermal imager can find victims, hostages. So people just immediately pop out. And of course, bad guys. The drone has a cell phone number. Uh -huh. We just called it. So now I can talk through the drone. And now you can try and talk me out of this terrible situation I've got myself and other people in. So that's really what it's designed to do. How long has this company been around? Three years. And you are how old? I'm 24. It's been a weird few years. That began in 2017 when he was 17 and saw in his hometown of Las Vegas the worst mass shooting in modern American history. 60 people slaughtered. The October 1 shooting is what got me thinking about public safety technology. Will Hudler, who now works with Blake, was a SWAT team commander that night. His third day on the job, he had to send his team blind down a hotel corridor towards the gunman. What we had in common is that seminal event. The demo pilot and Blake were getting really, really confident on the demo. So I texted my crisis negotiation team leader to knock it out of the sky. Someone grabbed a towel and slapped my first prototype. So they came up with a solution. The bad guys kicked it over. It slid on its back along yeah. the ground. Yeah. Q Dimitri. <laughs> nice. This is going to save lives, right? It has. You, you picture the, the faces that are on the wall, the memorial wall at these police departments, and you, you can name folks who would still be here if we had that tool. Brink has made a pledge never to weaponize their drones, but... Is it sort of big brothery that we've got these things flying over? You know, it really depends how they're used. I think if these things are responding to 911 calls, people asking for help, and they can provide aid or even stop crimes in progress, I don't think it is. 